Hello, how are you? Welcome to today's discussion. Today we will discuss about cold abscess, collar stud abscess, different stages of tubercular lymphadenitis. First, I would like to show you some pictures. These are pictures of cervical lymphadenopathy and when it is caused by tuberculosis, it may go through five stages. So, there are five stages of tubercular lymphadenitis as described by John and Campbell. Stage 1 is the stage of adenitis. At this stage, the tubercular lymph nodes are enlarged, firm, slightly tender, but still they are mobile. Stage 2 is the stage of periadenitis. At this stage, the lymph nodes are enlarged, firm, mildly tender, but they are attached to the surrounding tissue and with each other. So at this stage, if we palpate the nodes, we will feel that the nodes are matted. Stage 3 is the stage of cold abscess formation. Actually, after the skin, there is superficial fascia. The superficial fascia contains fat and connective tissue. Then there lies the deep fascia and the tubercular lymph nodes lie deep to the deep fascia. At this stage of cold abscess formation, the lymph nodes become caseated and the caseative materials burst out and collect beneath the deep fascia. It is called cold abscess because there are no signs of classical inflammation that is heat, redness, pain and fever. Cold abscess formation from the tuberculosis is actually found at the anterior triangle. But when the source of tuberculosis is from the cervical TB, then the lymph nodes and the abscess formation may be found at the posterior triangle. But one thing to remember that cold abscess may be formed by etiologies other than tuberculosis. These are actinomycosis, leprosy, fungal infections like blastomycosis and hyperimmunoglobulin E syndrome also called Jobs syndrome which is characterized by recurrent cold abscess, eczema and increased immunoglobulin E. Stage 4 is the stage of collar stud abscess formation. I have already mentioned that cold abscess lies deep to the deep fascia but when pressure within cold abscess increases then it bursts out through the deep fascia into the superficial fascia and gets adherent to the skin. Thus a bilocular mass is formed and this is called collar stud abscess. Why this abscess is named collar stud abscess? This is interesting. First we have to know what is stud or collar stud. Stud or collar stud is a large headed piece of metal that pierces and projects from a surface and it is usually used for decoration purpose. So collar stud has two compartment as you can see in the picture. It has two parts connected by a thin streak. As like the collar stud, the abscess that is formed at the fourth stage of tubercular lymphadenitis has also two parts. One at the superficial fascia and other at the deep fascia and these two parts are connected by a thin streak due to its resemblance of shape with the collar stud it is called collar stud abscess and this collar stud abscess shows cross fluctuation now what is cross fluctuation fluctuation between two separate cystic swelling communicating with each other is called cross fluctuation. Stage 5 is the stage of sinus formation. As I have mentioned at the stage 4 the collar stud abscess one part of the abscess lies at the superficial fascia which is adherent to the skin and when the pressure increases further this abscess comes out through the skin thus forms a sinus. So this is all about cold abscess and cholera stud abscess. I hope you have learnt 
the difference from the five stages of tubercular lymphadenitis. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.